I think Marvel are having an issue with their Blade movie. Should I tell them your idea? I'll take that as a yes. Right, so here's Kit's idea, right? That's a cat, by the way. We're talking about DEI. This is inclusion as fuck. Getting some pussies involved here. Right, so Blade, right? When I think of Blade, or when Kit thinks of Blade, he thinks John Wick, a black vampire. Badass. Lot of weapons, lot of killing, right? So here's the story, right? We have the city, and there's five factions, and it's not really a very well-kept secret that the heads of these factions are vampires, right? In the day, people are saying, you know, vampires are real, blah, blah, blah. They know about Blade. They know what's going on, right? Obviously, the media is trying to cover it up and say, no, there's no such thing as vampires whilst, you know, hiding their things, right? So you get five different factions, right? Now, how cool would this be, right? If your faction, your different factions are vampires, right? You have a different level of vampire. And the longer you become a vampire, depending on the type of vampire that bit you, you could have different characteristics. And the older the vampires are, like they, they kind of have like this, that, that, this mutation. They kind of become more demonic, right? So now you have five different types of factions and you can have different types of vampires, right? Visual fucking, visual spectacular, right? Now, Blade kind of has this equilibrium with them. But there's two factions that just keep keep pushing things. And the other ones are really starting to annoy, get annoyed by them. And they're thinking, if we get rid of these two factions, we can expand, right? But Blade is holding them back. So what's going to kick it off, right? So we actually have a sixth faction, but we don't really know about it yet. Blade doesn't know about it yet. But let's just say many, many years ago, Blade had an encounter with a particular vampire. It was a nasty wee cunt, right? Blade believed I'm dead. But what had actually happened is he managed to get out, like, clinging to whatever life he had left, and he goes underground. He goes right deep, you know, earth crust kind of shit. And now, years later, he's back, but he's mutated much, much uglier than old vampires. It's, like, it's almost like someone's done experiments on him, and he's... Bigger, he's evil, he's aggressive, and he fucking hates the vampires as well because they didn't help him, right? Maybe maybe they ousted him, just like they're about to do with these two other factions, right? So let's say introductory scene, right? This evil vampire comes up and he's stalking. He goes into maybe the, the nightclub that he used to work at because he used to work for this faction, right? And he notices one of the one of the people that he used to work for. I mean, maybe it was a bit higher up. But this vampire is picking a victim. He's picking a meal for the night, right? Because it's at night time. Vampires get hungry. He, he picks this lovely, beautiful girl. And he takes her upstairs. And as he's about to, you know, munch down on her, this other vampire, this mutated evil fucker, comes in, rips her fucking head off, blood everywhere. And he takes that guy and he rips his arm. And his arm's like hanging off, right? Now... He turned around and he's like, oh, you stupid fuck. You know, we, we vampires don't attack each other up here. And then it looks and it's like, oh, why? Maybe there's a bit of memory loss there, right? And he goes, because of that motherfucker. And then Blade comes in and Blade fights this mutated vampire. And as he's fighting, he starts to recognise him. And then, you know, maybe it does click. He's like, motherfucker, I know you. And he's like, he, and he's like, oh, Blade. And, he, and he's like, ah, you fucking forgot about me? Because, you know, maybe there's, there, there's some... Uh, Problems that have happened because of the mutation, you know, a bit of memory loss there, right? So Blade manages to subdue the, the, the vampire, but again, he escapes and goes back under. But Blade knows he came back and he's a lot different, so he needs to go figure out what's going on. And he obviously saved the guy. Um, and now Blade has to balance going under and figuring out what's going on under the city that the factions up in the city decide that they're going to have the, the, the plan of attack. They're going to destroy these two factions. Imagine how cool that would be. Different types of vampires fucking each other up. And at the end of it, they manage to kill the two faction leaders. They expand whilst Blade's down with the mutants. Him and Whistler have to deal with this new type of vampire because as the, the, the surface world is all out war, like they're not hiding anymore. They're out there. We are vampires and we're taking over the city. Well, turns out, Blade was right to go down and investigate because it turns out that there's been a lot of missing people, a lot of people gone missing over the, like, the years. Well, they've also been like mutated, they've also been experimented on, so there is a sixth faction, much uglier, much evil, and they're about to come up to the surface. But as they're building up and bubbling up, the surface is in fucking chaos because of these fa this vampire faction war. So now Blade has to have a balancing act. 
right? So him and Whistler, they're dealing with these vampires. Maybe you know you see Whistler doing his little thing, that he kidnaps someone, and, and they manage to figure out how to kill these other vampires. Very difficult though, right? Now, there you go. There's your movie, right? Blade having to deal with it, but the aftermath, the 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 consequences of Blade not being able to give his his, his full uh, time to the surface means that that becomes chaos. He manages to stop the current mutation, but he knows it's not over yet. And now, oh, look at that. Sequel bait, motherfucker. Think about it. Yeah. Can't, can't stop I've written for you. Right? We have an ending. We have the, well, the ending to Blade 1. As he's maybe in between like the, 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 the subway or whatever, he sees the chaos outside and he knows shit's about to get fucked up. So... Maybe, maybe your sequel could be Blade having to go to the surface, right? So his he's, he's attention has to, he's monitoring it and he can see things are starting to happen and he knows that there's going to be a bigger war. Like they've just created a vampire war and Blade basically, because he knows if he goes up against all of these, these brand new factions, the three, the three factions that have expanded, right? Maybe some of the ones from the two factions that were, were killed, some of them have defected and they're, they're working as well, right? Well, maybe, maybe. Blade, obviously, fucks shit up, you know, sequel, we see Blade and he's angry and he's aggressive, because he knows what's coming, he knows what's coming, these other vampires though, they're, they're so happy, it's a victory time kind of thing, they've done it, their plan, now they have control of the world, they, can't, they have control of the city, they've expanded, they're great, and now Blade's fucking pissed, he's like, you just broke the equilibrium, but there's something else, so Blade has to go on this rampage, he obviously has to take it, take some shit up, you know, and as they've expanded, they've obviously, you know, some hospitals or whatever have been fucked up, so Blade's going in and he's clearing out these hospitals, trying to bring that balance, but the three factions now, the, the, the bosses are hell-bent, are like proper confident, now they're like, right, plan one, expand, take care of the two annoying factions, plan two, kill Blade, and Blade's like, motherfucker, I'm gonna kill you first, right, so this is the sequel, bearing in mind, right? And in the first one, we know that there's mutants and Blade's done all he can to mitigate it, but he knows it's it's going to happen. Blade now has to, number one, try and take control of the city, save the humans, right? Maybe you can have a human help, you know, like, I don't know, right? But either way, right, maybe he's got a wee network going on of vampires and we see why he was able to keep it and he has to re-establish that. And then eventually he tells him, listen, motherfucker, I was here I wasn't here because of what I was dealing with, not just for the city, but for yous. And then maybe the guy with the ripped off arm kind of kept this secret, but he was just like, by the way, Blade's going to be gone for a while. I mean, I took care of it. And Blade's like, no, he didn't, motherfucker. I was, I was going down because I had to investigate and I saved your sorry ass. Um, and maybe he makes a joke like, ah, she, you should have stayed. She was delicious. Maybe he did go back to her snack, even though her head was ripped off. You know, maybe he drank her. I don't know, right? But then at, at the end of the sequel, the end of Blade 2, right? We end up finding out, Blade tells him, look, there is a war coming, bigger than the war that you have just fucking done. These mutated vampires, you know, I was gone for the first one for a good bit because... There is something happening down there. There is another faction, and they're coming. They're coming for war, and they're unlike anything you've ever seen, unlike anything I've ever seen. And we need to fucking prepare. And now you could leave it at that. Just leave it at that. We don't know if the vampires are going to agree. We don't know. But Blade finally tells them it's the secrets out. The reason why movement was happening and Blade wasn't there for a while was because of these mutated vampires. Now you could have the trilogy. You could have the third one, the trilogy. Now, Kit didn't really come up with. This one he was too busy um, with his catnip, right? But, but but let's think about it, right? The, the trilogy. What could the, the third one be, right? Hmm. Maybe all out war between mutated fucking vampires. You know, think about what you could what, what could happen, and maybe we find out that actually one of the vampires up there. Maybe it's even the rip, the, the guy with the arm that had his that had his arm ripped off. One of them was the orchestrator of that. The plan to get rid of the two factions was only to thin the herd because his ultimate plan was to use his mutated vampires because he's kind of mutated himself but he's been able to kind of perfect it on himself. Doesn't want to perfect it on his minions. What's the point? They're just his soldiers, right? So he ends up controlling them. So he's basically went from five factions to three factions and now with his army, he can go from three factions to one. All in... Killing Blade, the idea, break it to three factions, kill Blade, and then he gets his major 
plan of action. And now I'm going to wipe the rest of you out. And I'm going to take control of the city as a fucking overlord. And my my monster alien mutated vampires. Well, they're going to be like my 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 ultimate weapons. And Blade has to maybe team up. He has to get his network together. Has to team up. And they have to deal with these vampires. But of course the vampires want to kill Blade as well. So now you have that kind of balance in that. I, look, hey, look at it, right? I think I've cleared more ground just in this little rant. Well, Kit, sorry, Kit, Kit's cleared more ground with this little rant than you have in like 10 years. How is it hard? Why Why is it so hard to just bring entertainment? Why are you so against giving fans entertainment? Why do you want to lecture people instead of provide entertainment? You're a multi-million dollar industry. Start treating your fans with a bit of respect and maybe you'll retain being a multi-million dollar industry. Anyway, Iger, Feige, if you need any more inspiration, me and Kit are available for hire. Anyway, rant over.